ladies. It's Trish from Trish's Card Club, live from Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's Monday night, and I'm a little bit late. I had, was doing a very important thing, though. I'm sure you'll understand. Those of you guys who know me, I was getting my hair done. Priorities. Yes, priorities. I had not... I was supposed to have my hair colored in September, but the salon did not have any cold water. So I had to have my appointment rescheduled. So it was eight weeks since I had my hair, my roots done. And it was, oh, terrible. So I had my roots done. Hey, Miss Judy, thanks for joining. Sorry it's so late. Um, I have my roots done. I feel like I'm a whole new woman. And we're going to get started stamping. So tonight we're going to be making a card that I think most people refer to as a twisted ribbon card. But I said crisscross because I'm kind of improvising a little bit with how it's made. So, um, who else have joined? Hey, Nancy PB, thanks for joining. So to start off this card, you need a piece of design uh, of white cardstock that's two inches by five and a half. Now you can really use any size that you want. I'm just going off easy math because that's what I need is easy math, and it also fits um, perfect. So the first thing you do is you just take this two inch by five and a half inch piece of um, white cardstock or any color, any color. I, I'm just using white. You can use any color. If this, that's just what goes with my card. And you're going to mark off at every half inch. And this is an inch. So this is a half inch mark right here. So half inch, half inch, half inch, just little tick marks all the way down. And then, of course, you don't have to do the last one because that's going to be there. And then you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. And these get covered with the pattern of paper that we're going to be, the DSP that we're going to be using. So, oops, 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 oops. So if it if it it, it shows, you can always erase them, but it shouldn't show. If, if I do the technique correctly, it shouldn't show. So I tried watching a bunch of other videos of ladies that were doing the techniques, and some of them I really understood and some of them I didn't understand at all. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have to improvise. Okay, so hopefully you can see. I'll hold it a little bit up to the camera. You can see the tick marks. My video is always like a 10-minute lag. So, hey, there's a bunch of people out there. Let me see. I didn't even know. I get so excited, you guys, that I forget. Hey, Huckles. Thank you. Hey, Miss Karen and Anna. Hey, thanks, Karen and Marianne. Thank you. Yes, today is actually my birthday. I, um, yeah, it's my birthday. It's hard to believe. I have another year of life and my wishes this year are for health and peace. That's my wishes for my next year of life. And I think God will grant those uh, wishes. Uh, he has in so many ways. So, so yeah, thank you you guys for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. Um, okay. So hopefully you can see the tick marks on the paper. So now what the next thing you do is you cut up 12 strips of designer series paper that I, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. So I don't mess them up because they're already in order. So let me, let me start over again. So 12 strips of designer series paper that are three inches by a half an inch and you need 12 strips and you really want to do coordinating colors. Um, you could do each side of the designer series paper, which is what I'm doing. So this is one sheet of designer series paper that I cut up. So the colors will be, um, coordinating. And it's cool to do a pattern and a solid. That's a really cool way to do it as well. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. Although you don't have to, but that is an easy way to do it. So I'm going to I'm going to start with the solid. So I'm going to put. Now a lot of people use the green glue, the liquid glue, on this, but I'm kind of a I'm kind of a I'm kind of a um, let's see. Okay. So let me see if you can see. I'm going to take this tick mark here. And I'm going to take this tick, this these two tick marks here, and I'm just going to put this on so it's covering the tick marks diagonally like that. And I realized something, you guys. I needed. I'll, I'll do this. I should have brought my um, silicone mat. Okay. So let me see if I can. That's why you want to use green glue so you can lift it up and put it back down because this is not going to go back down very easy. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> so the first tick mark up here and then the two between the two tick marks and you kind of just keep doing that so let me keep these in order so here's my next one that one's a little more than a half inch too that might be another little challenge that I face as I'm doing this but we'll see and then you go to that basically between the two tick marks now you'll put the next one now there's lots of people that have done videos on this, you guys, and you know anything that has to do with math, I'm math challenged. Hey Nancy, thank you for the birthday wishes. 
Thanks, Judy. I, I, I'm, I'm happy with those wishes. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, guys. Um, I really appreciate that, your, your sweet thoughts. Um, people that are more mathematically inclined than me will probably do a better um, presentation. And this is not exactly Twisted Ribbon. This is more a little bit more like crisscross. So it's a similar idea, but not exactly. Depending on how it comes out, I'll tell you what the final name of it will be. So basically, I'm just putting the Design a Series paper between the two um, um, ticks um, in a diagonal direction. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those next. We're first doing just the, just the solids first. So that we will stay in some semblance of order here. So how have you guys been? How was your week? My week has been good. No complaints. Um, my neither. Let's see. My Patriots won the um, l this week, and the Buccaneers lost, and that was a terrible loss. Yeah, pray for Tom and his family. They need a lot of prayer. Okay, then this one is going to go to this last tick, and then it just goes off the page, and that's totally fine because we're going to trim it when we're done. Now we're going to take the solid patterns of our card and we're going to glue those down in the reverse direction. Now this would be somebody, this would go to someone, I have to, I should make you, um, that's card worthy. Because this is a little bit more labor intensive, so you're not just going to give this to any Joe Schmo. You would give this to someone who would appreciate all of your hard work. So the next thing that you do is you take this piece and you have it go to the corner of that piece like that. And I'm just going to go down a little more like that. Then you take the next one and you're going to do the same thing all the way down. So you're going to go from the corner here to the corner here. So I like to measure it up on this side and then measure it on that side like that. I think it's a little bit easier. But as I started to say, and I think I got sidetracked, um, there's lots of people that do the twisted ribbon on YouTube. If you want to see someone that's mathematically inclined, uh, how the card is gets done, um, I would not discourage you from doing that. Um, and I would say that you have to be card worthy to get this card because it's a little bit more work. But you can see the measurements are super easy to cut to cut it. Um, so it's not a lot of cutting time. It's just a little bit of um, laying out time. Oops, let me put that up there, like that. And when I trim it, it'll it'll make more sense once the trimming is done on that. And you can see, I think you can see, I don't know how close I am to the screen. That's a little bit of a that I'm that you don't see the tick marks that we made. And then that's gonna go here, and that's gonna go there like that. Okay, so then I lift it all up and I get my scissors and I trim it all off. I just follow the white of it. Do you remember the trick I taught you guys if you get your scissors all gummed up with glue? Because this will definitely get them gummed up with glue. A little rubbing alcohol. Take the glue right off. Get that over there. We'll do this one here. So if it comes out like it's supposed to, then it will be a twisted ribbon card. If it doesn't come out like it's supposed to, it, then it's going to just be called the crisscross design a series paper card. <laughs> I'm not I'm not one for having to worry about names. I still think it's a cool card, and no matter how it comes out, I think it'll look really cool. Okay, so this one needs to get trimmed down here, and then trim this way. All right, and then, aha, uh -huh. so this is, by the way, it's done, except for, see, I'm a little bit off on a few of them, but again, not a big deal, and there's one tick mark that's showing, so I'm just going to use the pencil and erase it. This would be a twisted ribbon card. Um, that's, how this, that's how this would be identified if you do a, a Google, but I think it's really cool if you do a search for a card. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this card and I'm going to put it on top of, well, 
I'm not putting it together because I want to, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm doing. So I want to, so I would put it on here like this. And then the next thing, before I would do that is I would layer it. It's just that I don't have the um, cardstock cut for laying, but I would layer this on another piece of cardstock probably. And then I would take, I just grabbed this really quick, you guys. I just grabbed this color really quick. And then I would take this and I would put it on as um, my greeting for my greeting. But I would probably layer this whole thing in um, a yellow um, um, just to tie in the yellow to the flowers and to the background. So that's just the one step that I'm not doing. But I think that's a really cool card. I'm very happy with how that came out. I might change the background and do um, a purple, maybe pick up a little bit more on the purple because this pink is a little bit too bright for that pink. But those are little minor details. Nothing's glued down so I can change the base anytime that I want. So that, you guys, is a twisted ribbon card. Now I did it earlier and I'm going to show you if, see if you can see the difference. I'm not sure if you can. This was the first one that I did, and that's why it's technically not twisted ribbon. The twisted ribbon is supposed to look like you're going this way, this way, that way, that way, and like as if you're twisting it. I did this the first time, and I didn't. It doesn't twist, and that's why I just called that um, a crisscross pattern. So I don't know if you can see the difference, but this is actually how it's supposed to look. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it right, so. That's why I didn't want to name it till I did it. So that's how it's supposed to look. But this one would look really good on that card because of the pink. That would look really pretty. So that might be, that might, I might use this base for this one and get a different base for this one, maybe in the purples. All right, that is it. Thank you very much, you guys, for all your cool words. <laughs> Teresa, I know your OCD is probably flipping out right now. I know, I know. It is a neat technique, Pat. It's, it's like I said, someone has to be card worthy to, to, to receive it because you're putting some effort into it. But it, it's not hard. It's just a little bit of um, extra cutting, and then you're, you're good to go. So that's the card for today. Um, we'll have a video next week and the next week. No, no. No, no. We'll have a video next week on the 24th, but there won't be a video on the 31st. Um, we will be at my in-laws passing out candy for um, the million children that will come to the neighborhood. And I'm not even exaggerating. There will be buckets of them. Buckets of candy will be given out at that night. What I don't eat will get out, be given out. So, um, so there will be a video next Monday, but we'll, I won't be here on the 31st. So um, that just just to give you guys a head up for your schedules. One other quick thing for those of you guys who are going to do Zoom. This is a terrible, terrible printout, but my printer is acting up and I can't, I can't figure out how to fix it. So this is the Zoom. This is the um, template for the card that we're going to be doing on Zoom on the 29th. So it's a circle, a rectangle, and then a sentiment. So you would, you would interpret this however you want. Um, and then you would just make a card up and then we'll just share our cards on our Zoom class on the 29th at 10 o'clock. And if you don't want to make a card and you just want to come and hang out, we love that too. So, um, my, this, this should be a, this is not striped or anything like that. That, that, that's just my printer. This is just a circle, how, however you want to interpret it, a rectangle and then a sentiment. So this could be an image. This could be an image. This could be a shape. It's however you, how, however you are so inspired. So that's that for the, for my Zoom people. All right, my friends, as I said, I think that's it. No complaints on this end of town. I hear it's going to get pretty chilly in the south over the next couple of days. Um, I'll pass on that. <laughs> so I'll see lots of you on Friday night at Karen's. I'm very, very excited. Oh, good. Anna's is already made. Well done, Amory, for the Zoom class. Very, very good. Um, I hope a lot of you guys that are listening will make it too, and then come share your creations on zoom. You guys have a great night, a great week. Uh, I think that's it. I miss you guys as always. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Oh, oh, I forgot my slogan. You guys, I forgot that around here we make it and we mail it. Ooh, I'm slipping. I am a slipping. All right. Around here we make it and we mail it. So if you can get some cards made this week and send them out and bless some people. All right. Now I'm going to sign off. Love you guys. Miss you guys. Talk to you soon.